All right, so welcome everybody back to Squad League here. We've got a match for you this weekend, 20R versus Ghost. We've uh, we've got a pretty awesome lineup for today. Um, so we're going to show you that, guys, this match. We're going to be playing on Fool's Road Skirmish. 20R is going to be United States Army for the uh, first round here, and then we'll switch sides. Uh, I'd like to introduce Doc East and Blitza to the stream as our commentators for today. Thanks, guys, for joining us. Go on, man. Cheers. And uh, we're going to get going pretty soon here. These guys are itching to get off. Just go ahead and take a look at the last numbers here. And uh, let's give these guys, what do you say, guys, 156, two minutes here? Do 156. They've uh, 20 hours, still got a guy on the other team. Fucking hell. Okay. Now we switched. Okay. That's good. Go. <laughs> Would have been fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's 17. The 20 are. Okay, so we're good 30 for seconds. one. Yeah, 30 seconds. All right, got that queued up. 10 seconds here. And there we go. Sending them off. All right. Again, we're uh, we're still just in round one here of our March Madness tournament. And uh, this is the uh, match between 20R and Ghost. And uh, whoever wins this is going to go on to quarterfinals. So pretty cool here. We've got three matches left until we're out of heats and into round two. So we've got two matches next weekend. And then after that, we will be in quarterfinals or round two. Got four matches there, two matches uh, for semis, and then we'll have that grand final, and then that third place um, final as well. Um, so that's just a bit about our a bit about our bracket here. We're gonna fall into commentating this as uh, 20R takes off here. We'll be following 20R for the first round here, and Ghost for the second round, like we said. And uh, yeah, so commentators, this is. First time that we've played um, fools for uh, for something like a competitive uh, competitive match here, so this can be interesting to uh, to follow these guys. Absolutely, fools is a very terrain dependent map. Actually, I mean, really, all of them are terrain dependent, but uh, you see it you see it a lot come alive on, on fools. Absolutely, and especially on this skirmish layer, there are certain parts of the terrain that are vital for your push. Um, getting control of them pretty much from the start is, is going to be the swing of the battle. So it'll be interesting to see how Ghost approach it and 20R from the kickoff. Absolutely. So as you can see there, those are our, those are our spheres, as you can see on my stream. Um, and these spheres show the cap points. So as you can see these guys moving out to those points, they're going to cap those objectives. And uh, let me bring up my map here. You can see there. Um, 20R moving. We've got uh, two squads here, 18 v 18, um, and these guys are moving across. Now capping. Uh, what is that? 
these all these points named. I need to write these points down. Uh, but, it should uh, be Ammo Depot and uh, Hill 415. Hill 415, yeah. Okay, so they're on their way to Ammo Depot here. I'm going to follow these guys. And it looks like we can see a sizable force from Ghost Can making we their way out to, to Ammo as well. Guys, like five guys to flank ground to the far, the far west. Hey, I've got it. A big, a big Copy. piece, Cheers. basically on any on any round, actually. Um, especially you see, you see it especially in uh, in clan matches. So there's always that speed and aggression. Can I pan out to to Hill 415 right now? You see, still small ghost squad pushing directly out right into the face of uh, 20R. Right. So granted, they can't take Hilltop because they still have to cap uh, um, ammo depot. But they can but... be ready to go. Exactly. They're already thinking two two moves ahead. Okay, we've got contacts in F6, keypad 9. 20R here, first guys on ammo. We'll follow them as they get in contact with Ghost. But Ghost is moving pretty far to the west of them. But I'm also watching... Sorry, I'm also watching these guys that approaching Hilltop now, very reserved with their fire. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed that they managed to, to not pop any pop shots off and really come up close to them. Pretty smart. Um, a lot of the time, just uh, not letting the enemy know that you're there. Uh, obviously, it's, it's, it's obviously a big, a big deal. You know, especially in Ghost case right now. That's why. If I were them, I wouldn't oh, even let anybody know I was there until I was inside of Hilltop and if they needed help on uh, ammo depot. So. You can open up a lot more opportunities like that. Ghost knows they're there. Hey, yep, they absolutely do. Right, I guess we're engaging. Can we get your guys and the... Yeah. Gonna be taking out James there. Ghost starting to move in. Couple 20Rs still up. For the most part, Ghost moving in on ammo. Still that uh, 20R squad, little isolate out out there to the southwest in the woods. Not sure if Ghost picks them up yet, but they are being smoked right now. The Jolly Roger 20R there opening up. Trying to get these guys pinned down. Fitty Shades now following them. Jelly goes down. Ghost now looking um, looking on the front foot hit hilltop, surgically removing the uh, 20 R guys as they're pushing along. Absolutely. Really starting to get after him now. Pingu has sent someone back to wash the back cap. 20R on the comms there talking about the back cap. Um, so basically, they want to make sure that they don't get rolled uh, back capped all the way back to their spawn. So they're going to start sending troops as they uh, lose the fight up front, sending troops back to the rear to hold the flags that they do have uh, so that Ghost isn't able to grab all their flags in one foul swoop. Absolutely. That's where that, that squad is out to the east right now. Um, the small ghost squad that's out there. They would have just kept moving along that ridge line, moved straight to the hilltop, and just sat and waited. They could have been, uh, I mean, they're still in a, in a fantastic position to do that, but uh, you'd be ready to cap that as soon as their guys take ammo depot. Right. They are right now. Just Again, so ghost you guys know. Uh, yeah, go ahead um, the aggression. Go and that's speed. Ghost was uh, talking about possible enemy fob north of uh, hilltop, so if there is one there, they. They've caught on already. And they do have a fob in Echo 4. That's going to be the only fob for 20R that I see. How about uh, Ghost Oakley? Do they have any fobs up? They do have one. Um... How's it looking on your side? Kill me. Let me get the grid corner. It's in uh, D7. Uh, contested. Under that. Okay. Most of the fighting here now over ammo. You can see ghosts now trickling down the hill. 20 are engaging them in the woods here. Yeah, you can definitely see that fallback right now too. They realize that uh, that, that defense on uh, on ammo depot there isn't, isn't going too hot, so they're pulling guys back already. Yep. And that uh, small ghost squad have made that push now towards Hilltop, as you said, Doc, you called it out. And that's yeah. that, um, as we always talk about those commander comms. pushing around the east side. 
letting another situation and with the cap. is in contact. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's absolutely pivotal. You know, when you have when you have a squad that's on any kind of mark, you always got to be just not talking to anybody in particular. Just, just throwing out information to the other squad leaders, <clears throat> letting them know like, hey, man, I know we're getting pushed this hard. I don't know if we're gonna be able to take it, or they're pushing us hard. Just giving them constant updates. So the other squad leaders can kind of gauge what their reaction is, you know, and how to how to effectively manage the situation. So you, you'll see squads, you see teams lose simply because of that. You know, it's happened to me several times on, on pub servers. Penguin, what are your guys in the defense like? All right, I'm floating over the hill right now. What up, suck? Ghost already. Barking at the door here. 20 are now in the building. Trying to hold this and defend here. The 20 are pulled their fob up over there. That or they lost it. Oh, he's in the uh, they, uh, they dug it up. Sorry, Doc. Yeah, no, you're good. Fall back to the fence marker for now. Yep, that's actually... You heard just heard 20 yards call uh, out. Yeah, probably probably good movement. Yeah. They're actually tying the shoelaces yeah. together there yeah. on that uh, building. It's I know, it's up in there. Them removing it though, With no it? visuals of the ghost of ghost squads coming in, they're uh, really restricting themselves. Exactly. That was another thing I was gonna hit I was gonna hit on as well too, uh, watching that hilltop. For defenses, you know, you can't you can't sit there and stare at your feet like that, be so close so close together. You want a defense that's that's deep, so to speak. Yes. You want, exactly. you want to keep all out buffer zones. You can kind of judge the movement by the, the, the ebb and flow of the combat. Okay, and okay, putting yourself between the two points where the enemy's at and the defend point. Yeah, exactly where I was going. a lot better than, than hunkering down on top of the defend point. Right, absolutely. You still want to have guys there, but having a little bit of a buffer outside. Yeah, make sure you can lodge yourselves so nice and deep in those buildings. Uh, yeah, I'll uh, tend to call them feeders because they feed that information back to you where the approach is yeah, coming absolutely. from, how many, absolutely. and all that good stuff. Yeah. Just looking at the numbers here on Hilltop, Ghost will be getting that neutralized just through numbers right. compared to the 20 Could you maybe put an FOB uh, to, uh, to the, so the east of the objective? I will work on it. Yeah, there's only one. Cheers. One of our guy left in there. 70 tickets here, Oakley. How are you looking there? We've got 144 over here. Oh. So a pretty big spread there. 20 are definitely taking a beating from Ghost right now. You can see them working the left and right side of uh, the hilltop there. Ghost, uh, they've got they've got some guys in the compound there, capping the or trying to neutralize that objective. But 20 are is moving in, so hopefully they'll be able to stop this cap here. Uh, but then you can side. see there out to the southwest, um, Ghost really starting to filter up the mountainside, and they will have numbers in this AO pretty soon. Sixty six tickets here. This will be such an interesting map uh, once vehicles finally do drop. I think everybody's been excited, in particular, uh, for this map to have vehicles on. You can see the roads there just from this overhead shot that having vehicles is going to definitely make things quite different oh, uh, for this map. For the yeah, whole game, really. Yeah, Yeah, I was going to say, the whole game, really. Like you, said, logistics. like you said there with the roads, you know, it's going to be that the feeling, your infantry, you're coming across the, the terrain. And then you get eyes on the road and you see that Abrams rolling around. It's not going to be a funny experience. Right. Vehicles are a legit threat, especially in Project Reality, man. You, you get a tank that's coming down at you, you're scared shitless as a infantry guy running around the ground. Mm -hmm. oh, absolutely. Oh, sorry. Okay. When are you guys getting enough guys back in there? Yeah, they definitely do. They're holding this back building here. Golly, watch that window. 
Yeah, it might be worth it. That small little ninja squad out to hit that other cap. They would at least pull some, get some pressure off of them there. Just going back to that point of having those uh, the active defense, you've got a ghost squad out to the north on the cliff, you've also got a squad flushing south to, to head off that attack that 20 are pushing. Uh, and, just, and just putting up that buffer line, they're not going to get in, they're not going to get in the cap zone, and that's what it's all about. Two random ghost guys way up by their main. Come on, we need you to come. Somebody might have spawned on accident. They're uh, blocking us south as well. Twenty two tickets now. Very steep ticket loss here for 20R as they try to hold off this last flag here. It looks like the last flag of the match, at least. We still, still got uh, 147 over here. Yeah, Ghost uh, doing very well with their, um, their medics picking people up. We've only actually lost eight tickets through, through deaths. Yeah, I think that is something that hasn't quite carried over from PR, uh, and that is that, you know, when you die, you want to think you just respawn, but for PR and squad, it's huge to have medics uh, that know what they're doing. It's almost more important to have good medics than it is to have good squad leaders, almost. Oh, um, yeah. Because it, it is, like you said, ghost picking these guys up, FOB's gone uh, saving tons of tickets here, now I down to six tickets, tickets here. Yeah. Well, we still got next round. <laughs> Hell yeah! You can hear 20R there. Yeah. Good attitudes. <laughs> They're here to have fun. It's good to see. Three tickets. You can see there, first match out of the way. We're going to switch sides here. Get 20R over there on that Russian side. Get Ghost over here on the U.S. Army side. Switch up sides, and we'll be back soon.